have been working. Um, it's two o'clock and we're gonna go over to Arlo's room. <sighs> that is a mess. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I, oh, by the way, thank you all for your sweet, sweet comments, um, about Arlo's speedy recovery. He actually, like his sores went away in one day. He only had sores on his bum, but he did have some mouth sores, but those were gone and he was eating to normal. So he went back to take care today, which we just love. He thrives. We thrive. It's great. Anyhow. Um, I went to the gym this morning, came back, filmed two videos, just edited and posted one, and then uploaded the rest of another one, and now I want to work on a fun project. So I decided to do gift bags for Arlo's party, like I told you guys. So we're going to design them now with my little Cricut. So these are what they look like. I'm going to play around with my computer and my Cricut to design the Sesame Street logo. Hi, Miss Beanies. Um, I'm debating either the Sesame Street or the little like, or little blocks that say one, two, three. We'll see. Um, it's really windy out. Depending on how much of every color I have. I have no idea what I have with my Cricut material. I also burnt my hand on curling iron. I like touched it, like thinking I had turned it off. <laughs> I didn't turn it off. So there's that. Um, so anyways, underneath here is all my Cricut stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're a mess. But no boxes have come yet, so I'm not packing until boxes come. I figured I might as well just get the gift bags done and over with. Um, and have one last thing to worry about. And I just, I'm in the mood to be creative. I'm not in the mood to go out for a walk right now. Even though it's nice out, it's really windy. And I'm just not in the mood to go for a walk right now. So, let's be creative. Let's make some stuff. Okay. The lighting's terrible. As I suspected, I had none of the colors that, that I needed. Lighting's so bad. Um, I had none of the colors that I needed. I need green and I need yellow. And I can grab those at um, Michael's tomorrow. But before I even do that, I like to um, try it out on paper to see kind of sizing wise and all that stuff because I just like, like to do that so I always just have like a giant like thing of construction paper that I cut with the Cricut first to see like how it comes out and whatnot and get my designs right because I don't read directions and I just kind of wing life and so sometimes it don't work right you know and if you don't have one of these things I had no idea what these even were you need one they're like these grippy things I need to clean this one because it's disgusting but um, you just put the paper on it. If it's not like Cricut paper, you can still make it work. So, let's go grab my computer because I clearly forgot that. Um, I honestly have no problem buying more colors for my Cricut because I just like always use it. So, and they never go bad. So, let's figure it out. Obviously, it needs to be really tiny to fit on this teeny tiny little bag. I thought these were too small, but honestly, they're going to be fine. So, it needs to be small. So, let's make this work. Okay, so I played around a little bit with um, the design that I'm going to... I decided to do Elmo instead of Sesame Street, which, honestly, it's three colors instead of two. But I ordered, like, a giant, like, multi-pack of iron-on paper which will be here not tomorrow but the next day and um yeah I also realized that I no longer have like the upgraded plan thing so I have to pay for it but it's a buck 99 for as many as you can print so I'm going to do that but once it arrives <laughs> the gym and I have some time before my dermatologist appointment so I ran over to Tom Thumb. I forgot a mask so I needed to bring or get some masks for the doctor's office. Um, I tried these. These were on sale so they were like two for six or something like that so I decided to try them. They're plant-based protein and dark chocolate so I got two of those and then they just started carrying Alani new and I've never tried the berry pop so I'm obviously not drinking this now but um, I'm going to try that. So I'm going to sip on this while I head to the doctors or the dermatologist. Oh, I'm bored. Hey, 
just got done at the dermatologist. I forgot my camera. Um, anyway, she prescribed me a hydroquinone, which is like 8%, which the current one that I was using and I really wasn't using it regularly was 2%. Um, and we talked about sunscreens. Um, she said the Elta MD is a really good sunscreen. So that's what I'm going to continue to use. She talked about how the tinted one, though it might not give you a ton of tint, it is still physically blocking your skin, which is better than the clear one. So I'm going to continue using the tinted one, but she also recommended a compact for me that's mineral because I was talking to her about like how I feel like there's a lot of chemical, um, what do I want to say sunscreens that are good for touch-ups but not many mineral ones because she talked about how the powder ones like truly do not like actually give you enough product to cover um your your satin your skin so she talked about this one which I just ordered um I'll let you guys know what it is in just a second I'm pulling into Trader Joe's oh anyhow okay so it's the Avene I'll link it down below but Avene Haute Protection. It's a cream compact, a cream to powder compact. Um, but I figured it would be good for touching up. So she said, I definitely have some, obviously this is melasma. Um, these are dark spots and I can use, this is a little bit of melasma. And then she said, I do have a little bit of melasma above my lips. So it's life. I was not good with sunscreen when I was younger, um, but now I'm obviously trying to be better. So, anywho, we're in Trader or we're in the parking lot of Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna run in. I wasn't planning to do that, but I just figured I'm here, so I might as well just do it because um, I don't want to go all the way back home for nothing. So I also have to really badly pee. I always feel like it's weird to pee in a grocery store. Just me. Because what do you do with your cart? So probably just gonna commit and go in Ooh, okay anywho good dermatologist appointment hopefully I notice a difference but she literally said everything you're doing um, is good and if you do not continue to obviously block yourself physically from the Sun it doesn't matter if you put hydroquinone all over your face it's still going to get dark but she told me literally just centralize it in the spots that I need it so the one that she gave me also has a little bit of retinol and tretinoin in it um and some niacinamide and things like that so obviously I'm excited to try it I've never tried anything prescription strength for my face um yeah and I already and I re already re already reapplied my Ulta MD SPF so let's go get some groceries I'm at a different Trader Joe's one on Walnut Hills. Let's do this. Hello we're back from the grocery store I've unloaded everything and we're gonna Show you what I got from Trader Joe's. I did not have a list. I went completely rogue, but like not that rogue. Nonetheless, I think all of this was like 140 something, 147 I wanna say. Okay, let's do this. The, I don't think I've ever shared this piece of um, advice with you, or not advice, story time. My dad actually, or my mom and my dad taught me how to grocery shop um by giving me a blank check and sending me to the grocery store at a younger age i loved going to the grocery store loved it anyhow um my dad would always ask me when i would get back at the beginning of our trips like um how much was that head of lettuce and if i didn't know then i was not like i was not doing what i was supposed to be doing basically is what he was saying he said like, you should know price so you can see like and be able to know the general cost of, even if you're not shopping with a budget, let's say you don't budget out your groceries, you should still know. So we can tell if price increases, things like that. And you're just more aware of things. And you can also know what's the better place to buy what and whatnot. That's why I go to many different grocery stores. But today we just did a quick little shebang shebang at Trader Joe's because it was right next to my dermatologist. Within the next couple of months, <clears throat> It's gonna be my mission to kind of eat through what we have and stop doing that stocking mentality. I'm a stalker. I like to have the pantry full, the freezer full. It just makes me feel at ease. But I'm gonna stop doing that because obviously we're moving. So condiments, things like that, we're gonna to try to get through as much as we can so we don't have to waste things because we're not bringing a cooler full of our condiments to Chicago. You know what I mean? Anyhow, let's get into it. Big ol' array of groceries. Let me show you real quick all the things 
And yeah, let's just do it this way because it's easy. Okay, got some mild shredded cheese um, for like eggs and things like that. And Arlo just really enjoys shredded cheese. Uh, light mozzarella, some string cheese, my favorite, Arlo's favorite, some eggs. I grabbed this when I was at Tom Thumb, Alani New Berry Pop, and then this energy drink, which was pretty good. Um, I don't, or energy drink, protein shake. I don't typically buy prepackaged protein shakes. I just think they're overpriced, but they're good. Um, popcorn, favorite popcorn, herbs and spices, good savory snack if you're hungry at night. Um, <clears throat> I grabbed some pepperoni. And then I grabbed these. They're little cauliflower thins for um, pizzas because they had really high grams of protein and low calories. So I figured, why not try it out and see? Then I also grabbed, oh, oh, this just completely broke. Well, that stinks. Um, there goes my cauliflower crust. Maybe I can still salvage it. It broke into a million pieces. That probably should be my first inkling that this isn't gonna work. But just, again, super high protein. 20 grams of protein. I don't know, we'll see. Um, Arlo's been loving pizza. Some smoked turkey breast, deli meat. Um, I typically don't buy it from here. I typically like it at the deli counter because it's just, honestly, just as expensive. So I'd rather get it freshly cut. Um, grabbed some shredded cabbage. I like using this for shrimp tacos. So I'm probably gonna do shrimp tacos sometime this week. Some shredded kale, my favorite kale. I grabbed this, I was craving a Greek salad. I figured I could put some um, feta, which, or not feta, falafel, which I already have in the pantry, mix that up and throw it in there um, for lunch. Yogurt. These are my favorite go-to quick breakfast when I've got like a busy filming morning. I grab one of these and they're just, they're easy. They're not amazing, but they're good and quick and easy. Whatever. Um, grab these multigrain waffles just to have in, on hand for Arlo. Some bananas, very unripe. Some coffee, some marinara sauce. I just use regular marinara sauce for pizza sauce. I just don't, I don't, know, I don't see that big of a difference. Some more oranges. These are so good and Arlo really likes them. Some lemons, some berry medley. This I've tried before and I honestly really liked this. It's a bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. Some lightly salted enamames, good snacking. Some pita chippies, some milk. Another one of these multi-purpose cleansers. I have another one over there. I like this, it's good, so yeah. There's some red peppers, red bell peppers in here. Some green beans, hairy cover, some sweet potatoes, some hummus, the tzatziki. I, one of y'all had said to try the vegan tzatziki and y'all, it's just not the same, it's more of a dip or like a spread, I don't know how to explain it. This I like better, so yes, personally. I do like the vegan kale and cashew basil pesto. I think it's awesome. Some broccolini, some cilantro. I grabbed some turkey jerky, which I've never tried from there, but I figured, good snack. These, so freaking good. I fell in love with these. Lowish calories, 160 calories, 15 grams of protein. I grabbed the chocolate hazelnut and the salted chocolate, salted caramel, very, very good. Um, these are for Arlo ABC bars. These are also for Arlo, he's never tried these. These are the peanut butter and jelly bars. Uh, I have never tried Trader Joe's kim kimchi, so I figured I'd give it a go. And some cucumbers. That wasn't the fastest little haul ever. I'm out of breath, okay. That's everything, now I'm gonna put it all away. I realized we were out of coffee and I didn't get any coffee while I was out. So, not that I, clearly not that I really need any. But you know what, normally I go for my walk, I figured I'll go for my walk to the Starbucks, which I haven't done since I was pregnant with Arlo. Um, made that walk, it's not a nice walk, but it is what it is. Um, I think I'll do that, grab my coffee and then walk back and it'll be nice, relaxing, I'll listen to a podcast. And yeah, but let's put all this away first. And then we'll go walk to get coffee. It is almost one o'clock. I also am going to be doing, let me trying something for dinner tonight, I think. Either tonight or tomorrow, we'll see. Okay, bye. So it's time. We're going to start ruthlessly decluttering this bathroom with products that I've opened that are going to be expired um, or that just need to be thrown away because I don't like them or whatever the case may be. Uh, we're gonna go through all this and get rid of what we can and then the rest will be packed up. Same thing, I'm gonna go through just 
<laughs> and then, so that's on the list today. Tackle that, tackle this, and then start tackling this in terms of clothing. Those are Halloween costumes. Those are my memory box, sewing machine. But yeah, I need to start tackling this guy as well. I know, it's a mess. Pray for me, please. This is the first box of all my hair care and skin care. So yeah, all I have left is tanners that I wanna finish up before, I don't really wanna pack these. I'm gonna finish them up before we leave. Nothing else up there, craziness. And then, <clears throat> this is just actual medicine that's not <laughs> outdated. Um, this stuff, I, I love this lotion. I consolidated all of the lotions into the little mini ones, so I'm gonna use up those. I need to ask Scott if he wants to keep these or use these. That's dog shampoo stuff, so I'll probably use it up before we leave and toss it. I'm probably gonna bring this with us. It's like medications and stuff that's not gonna expire for the next like year or two, so that's that and that's a trash bag full of expired products so that's where we're at with here i'm um, feeling good about that i'm gonna start going through some makeup and clothes so ignore the mess that is my life i will show you guys in just a second but i just put on a hair mask um or did my oil scalp i almost used up this entire thing i just got on Sephora and ordered another one. It's so good, I love it. Um, I probably have at least one more use left out of it, um, but I don't wanna be without it because it's been so good and I noticed when I stopped using it for the last like three times I shampooed, I've noticed a difference. So this has seriously helped with my scalp. Um, and then I have some Olaplex in there and I know the Olaplex drama, this one is fine. So um, anywho, yes, my life's a disaster. <sighs> Girl, girl. <laughs> so Scott cleaned out his top of the closet. I got him to do that. This is a box that's going in or going to Chicago with us. Donation, donation. Trash. All of my makeup, all of my skincare also going. This is stuff that's going to go into storage. Um... This is how far we've got with the closet. So this all is going to be sold or donated. This is all coming with me. Um, cleaned out all of the makeup, obviously. This is all Poshmark stuff that I need to remove from my Poshmark and donate. Um, yeah, we're making moves. This stuff, donating, all of, or not donating, keeping. I just need to still continue to go through it, but it is almost six o'clock. Arlo is gonna be home soon, so I gotta make dinner. And live my life, but y'all, why it's so dark? I don't know why it's so dark. We had a successful packing day one. Hello. I haven't picked up the camera today, I don't think. I went for a walk. Oh, I wanted to update you guys on that um, compact that I bought that my dermatologist recommended. I got it actually yesterday, which is super weird. Uh, well, not super weird. I just didn't expect it to come that quick. Um, but I liked it. I used it to touch up before I went on my walk today. Um, I filmed two videos. No, I filmed a video. And um, yeah, and then I just got in the packing groove. I packed up all of our like extra mugs, um, a bunch of extra mason jars, and um, I'm gonna finish packing up my mom's china, or the china that she gave us. Um, and yeah, I'm tired, you guys. It's been a day. I worked out. What else did I get up to today? I don't even remember. Filmed the swimsuit try-on haul, which you guys will see soon. I don't think yet. No, not yet. Um, it's Wednesday, right? Oh, well, I can take you along what I'm making for dinner tonight. I'm making, yeah, let's do that. Let's actually stop packing. I packed one box today. You know what? It's better than nothing. <laughs> and I cleaned out the spice cabinet. We'll go through that. Um, cause we have to like get all the clutter off the counters and stuff for 
show in the house. So I figured, you know, just start trucking along. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll pack the China tomorrow. I actually decided to switch around my work days this week. Um, and I'm going to have a chill errands day, admin day tomorrow instead of another try on haul. Y'all, I'm doing so many try on hauls, but you guys seem to really like them and it's a way for me to reach new people and I don't know. I know my fashion videos have always done really well and I'm almost thinking about bringing back my vlog channel and then just making this channel again my like fashion channel because it's kind of always what it has been, but I don't know. I kind of, as long as it's y'all are watching and entertained, and that's all that matters. <laughs> um, so. What else was I gonna say? Yeah, I just put on my H&M one, so. Okay, let's actually go get ready to make dinner. I'm making crispy rice with tuna on top and then I'm gonna make poke bowls to go with it because I don't think, oh, I'm such a dork. No, it'll be fine. I didn't put it in the freezer. Okay, let's go. My box is packed. So I made this much more like neat. This whole top shelf used to be just full of extra coffee mugs because I'm a collector, okay? Minimized our glassware over here. I know it seems like a lot still, but I consolidated our spices, oils, and all that stuff cleared off this. And then, yeah, it's still a lot, but I got rid of so many expired spices. It was actually disgusting. So yeah, there was. that's where we're at with that. Just slightly organize this a little bit more so yeah this mess and then up here ugh, is what's what I was going to work on but that's probably gonna be a tomorrow thing so yeah I'll get all that stuff done tomorrow that's got to make me some sushi rice and then I pressed it into these little Tupperwares if you have one Tupperware it's fine I just don't um you want it kind of like thin ish and then i'm gonna freeze these and then i'm gonna cut them and then we're gonna fry them and top them with tuna so this is going to be the leftovers for our like, poke bowl situation so let me stick these in the freezer close to an Asian market but nonetheless the key is cracking them just like is it better texture soaks up better I don't know I love it soy sauce a little bit of sesame oil sesame seeds gochujang some sriracha a little bit of salt and then some sushi vinegar and then I grated garlic in there oh and then this chili oil with seasonings in there and that's everything that I did for that so I'm gonna let that sit. Um, now, let me see here. I'm gonna start my tuna, a spicy tuna. Literally just got this from um, Tom Thum. It's just wild caught tuna. Um, and yeah, I don't know, we're gonna try it. I normally buy fresh tuna, but I figured we would try this and see how I like it. Um, so I'm gonna chop that up and I'm gonna be using, I don't have mayo, which is actually fine. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Greek yogurt. <laughs> I don't like mayo. I mean, I like mayo and spicy tuna, but I'm not a mayonnaise person. Cooked. I think you just defrost it. Um, oh, where are we oh, What am I missing? I'm just gonna take some of this and put it in a bowl. Arlo really likes it as well. 
do the little appetizer. I'm probably not gonna have a poke bowl as well and tofu because I was just thinking like, this is probably gonna be enough for me, depending. Um, but, because I was gonna make these guys. I'm gonna steam some stoop, soup dumplings. These are the pork and ginger soup dumplings. There's six of them in here. Oh, what a freaking day, you guys. I just feel like I've been running all over the place like a mad woman. Um, trying to, ooh, I forgot we had kimchi. Mmm, I've been wanting to try this. I grabbed kimchi from the store from Trader Joe's, which I'm sure is obviously not as good as like real kimchi, but it's been so long since I've had kimchi that I wanted to try this one. Let's give it a go. I kind of want to make my own kimchi at some point in my life. smaller than I thought they'd be. I don't know why I thought they'd be bigger, but they're small, doesn't matter. Mmm. There's just something about sushi rice, it's so good. All day um, and I just ate lunch and uploaded anyhow I wanted to talk to you guys about this I mentioned this earlier this week I think on Tuesday yes on Tuesday when I went to the dermatologist my dermatologist recommended this is the hot 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 protection by Avene I think it's it just literally doesn't say I'll link it down below but I got it in and I've used it twice um and I wanted to show you guys it. So it comes with a mirror. And for me, where I struggle with my dark spot is obviously in between my forehead. And then I have a spot like right here. And I wanted a product. I also have a mirror right in front of me that I could put on the top of my makeup. Obviously, having makeup on is a barrier for your skin, which is better for sun protection, but I wanted to be able to touch it up. And she recommended this product and said it has really good coverage and you don't need a ton of it. Um, and it will help you be protected. I kinda have one right here too. And I noticed that it doesn't like, look super, super cakey. So, I don't put it everywhere like I said. I'll leave one right there. Just put it where I have darkness, so. And obviously it kind of messes with my blush a bit, but at the end of the day, it's important to be protected. So, it also comes with a little puff thing, which I don't really use. Could though. I feel like it just soaks up products. So I put it on with my finger and then buff it in. So yeah. Um, I don't even remember. I got it off Amazon and I want to say it was like 20 bucks or so, but it's high protection, mineral for fragrance free and it has SPF 50. So yeah, I don't know. I wanted to share it because like I said, my dermatologist recommended it for touching up. I am curious. I know it said it was mineral, right? By the way, I got the color sable beige. It doesn't come in a big variety of colors, which is really not good, but I was able to find mine 
yeah, titanium dioxide, zinc dioxide, zinc oxide, I mean, so it is mineral. Yeah, you're looking to touch up your SPF. You have dark spots, age spots, sunspots, melasma. She said I also have it on my, like, this part too. Lightly, so. I think me and Scott are gonna go grab a drink and maybe a snack before we go pick up Arlo, so. I figured I would just touch it up a bit. I am loving this little yellow sweater from H&M that I recently picked up, but anyhow, I have a mess to clean up behind me and pray that my video go live. I don't know what the heck took me so long today to like film and edit and everything, but it took me forever. I hate waiting for the day to film, edit, and upload because it never goes live. I like to have my video up by noon, but it's four o'clock. <laughs> or 3.40, uh, and it's still not up, so. It's what it is, you know? I've also been loving this Lawless Gloss. It's really thick. But, I like it. That reminds me to ask you guys. I've already started building my Sephora cart for the VIB sale. VIB. I'm only, I lowered my tier. I'm no longer a rouge anymore. I don't spend as much on makeup and skincare as I used to. I just know what I like and whatever. But I do like trying new things. And I have my cart like started to be built with some of my favorites plus some new stuff. I think only one favorite and the rest is all newness. So if you have any brands, any products that you want to see me review, let me know. I mean, obviously I'm not like a big um, product reviewer by any means. Obviously there's better resources in this <laughs> this uh, space, but I mean, if you're curious to know what my opinion is or whatnot, let me know. I'd be happy to review whatever for you guys. So I'm gonna clean up this mess that is my life, my room, drink some water because I am severely dehydrated. I was supposed to film two other videos today and it didn't happen. I had a really off day yesterday. I don't think I filmed at all yesterday. I had a really off day. I just have been really, 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 really tired. Um, and I, it's honestly, I haven't been getting as much sleep and I just had a day where I just felt like I needed a day where I didn't like run around like a chicken with my head cut off and I just chilled. So I laid in bed, I still worked. I did a lot of like links and things. The outfits video, like the hauls, try on things, they take a lot of work, you guys, like a lot of work. <laughs> um, obviously it takes me a while to find items on websites that I enjoy, that I like, um, and then I get them, I have to style them with pieces that I already have. So I have to grab all the accessories, think of the outfits that I want to create, try to make two outfits from each piece. And then I have to pull all those pieces to make the outfits, um, get all the links for those <laughs> items, which takes a really long time. Um, and then I have to steam them all. Then I have to, that's just the back work. Then I have to try on all the outfits. Then I have to film the sit down video. Then I have to edit all of it, combine it together and upload it. It takes hours to make one of those videos. So now that I'm trying to do them once a week, it's just a lot more time consuming, but I love it. And you guys seem to really like it and it's helping grow my channel, which is obviously so exciting for me because it's been a while since my channel has grown. And I think it's because I went back to my roots of like, I used to just do a lot of fashion and I might bring back outfits of the week really soon. Um, to kind of like sprinkle in and not do as many hauls. We'll see, but might do some outfits of the week and things like that instead of just hauls. But Wednesdays are gonna be more of my, my fashion content. Um, still Sundays are gonna be my vlogs. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I have that passion for fashion again and I'm really excited that you guys are enjoying it and I'm able to share it with you guys again. So yeah, anywho, it's Friday. Um, and I'm gonna end off the vlog this weekend. Arlo's going to hang out with Granny. Um, and, uh, Scott and I have plans for dinner tomorrow with friends. Yeah, friends. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say friend. Friends. Another couple. I think we're either going to go to Tete, which is one of my favorite and Scott's favorite, um, 
Japanese sushi restaurants in Dallas. If you are there, they have a Roboto Grill plus sushi. One of the best, so, so good. And our friends have like a bar restaurant across the street. So we always like put our name on the list and go over there. Might go there or there's this place called Mr. Max. It's Mr. Max. Yes, Mad Max, Mr. Max. And it is a traditional Japanese izakaya, which is so good. I want to say it's a little further away. So we'll see. I haven't decided what we're going to go, where we're going to go yet. But you guys, like, you guys know, I like to take the weekends to just be present, be with my family um, and spend some time with Scott. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to um, do a little bit of packing as well, get started on that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. I had so much fun, like always. I love taking you guys along with me on my week. I definitely need to be with all of the video and content. I want to do a little bit more organized. I think everyone can be more organized in their life so that I can continue to pour in my vlogs on my vlog channel or on my vlog um, for this weekly vlog. And yeah, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you much, so much for watching. You have no idea how much this means to me and I love you guys. So sorry, I'm getting sappy at the end of this vlog, but I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.